All right, I am live. Hello, how y'all doing? I'm Snowball. This is uh, Remnant of Nazeth, and uh, this is a fast platformer with grappling hook. You go really fast. I'll just start in like three, two, one, go. You can immediately see I've got a grappling hook. It only goes in this green line you see coming from my body, so it only goes in a 45 degree angle in the direction I'm looking. And we use this everywhere you will see, whoops, here's the first skip of the game. You will see me grapple pretty much everywhere, because as long as you are holding a grapple, you gain speed. You go real fast, and that's not how you gain speed, by touching wall. It's really easy to lose your speed in this game by touching any wall at all, and it loses so much stun. There's also a, uh, I guess I'll, you'll see this more later, but there's a mechanic that is pulling. When you press space while grappling, you will get pulled towards the grapple. At a, at a fixed speed, it will set your speed. That's some some details that you might need to know when you're playing this game. But yeah, you go real fast. This is a level I'll try the IL strat, and I did it. That's actually really good. Again, I, I did not really have time to practice this before, so I'm surprised I was able to get such an amazing trick already. Alright, here we go. We are now getting into extra fast levels. This one's real fast, if I do it right. Yep, that's good enough. Here we do an, another IL strat that, well, almost. Almost no one does, because it's ridiculous. There we go. Right, I'm not gonna do the IL strat here, but that's close. We go thread the needle. Alright, here we gain some speed by doing a big old circle. A big spin. There we go. Now on the next level, we're going to do a very difficult technique. I did not get it. I'll do it once more. There we go. That's called a DDP. Basically, just know that it puts your speed very fast downwards. That's all it does. And it's really difficult. I would not recommend trying that at all. Yeah, some more speed. Again, grappling everywhere. Gaining speed everywhere. Yeah, this is classy. Now here, there's a nice... A little turnaround in the middle. I hope I'll get it. If I don't, nope, I did not get it. If I did get it, I will have lots of speed here, but I don't. That's okay. Here coming up, we have the probably the most pure grappling level in the game. It's just a big old ceiling that you grapple onto, and then you get to the end. It's a really good level to practice grapples on. Now here we saw the uh, pulling a little more. I'll do it here as well. You can see I'll, I'm moving towards where I have grappled. Also, I, I guess I should explain this. I haven't explained this yet. At the bottom you'll see a, a, a meter. That is the dash meter. When this meter is, is uh, within the first line, as it is right now, it is ready to dash. It will, it will uh, regain a dash over time. About once every four seconds, I believe. I'm not sure on that. And this just makes you go fast for a little bit and then takes your speed away again. This is the last level of the first chapter. After this, we are into difficult levels. This is sand. This is where it really starts. We are now out of tutorial land. We are into... This is difficult range. I missed up the start there. That's alright. And the next level here is going to be really long. So if there is anything you want to plug, just go ahead right now. Cool. Um, so just to say, uh, welcome everybody. There is an upcoming bid war if anyone's interested. So uh, Sonic CD is going to be coming up in a few games time. Uh, there's a fantastic bid war there between the uh, Japanese and US soundtrack. It's very common Sonic CD donation incentive. Uh, currently, Japanese is uh, um, $35 and uh, the American soundtrack is winning with uh, $48 but there's only 13 in it so um, any kind of small donation can quite easily snipe that if you want to hear the Japanese music instead or if you want to uh, help boost the American soundtrack. Oh, yeah, the American how, soundtrack. How much of <laughs> how, mu how much of this is like um, normal strats just done really really fast and how many of this is just speed tech? Uh, it kind of depends on the level. Like in this level, I'm not doing the Walter Rickett strat because it's like a one in a million shot. On some other levels, like the first few, you saw me do IL strats. It's kind of, it, it depends. Most levels I'm just doing like safe strats really fast. Like this one right here, I'm doing safe strats. This one is not safe, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Oops, I just hit the ending and died on the same tick. That doesn't happen often. 
This one is kind of IL strap, but not quite. Yeah, this one you swing around a lot, and there's actually water in this game that you do not swim. If you touch, if you go into water, you will die immediately. And if you stand on water, you will lose speed. So every time we touch water, we just jump. So we are in the air at all times, and we do not lose speed by touching the water. Here we have an accelerator. We need speed to go through this. We could not go through that normally. And this is the hill. It's called the hill because there's a big hill in the middle. That was the hill. Here comes the worst level in the game. There we go, that's the worst part, now it's actually good. Suddenly we're Super Meat Boy. Yeah, there's actually lots of saw blades. There's, there's a lot more coming up, so get ready. This, this is just the beginning. Whoops. Let's see why you compared this to loot box life. Yeah. But then, yeah, it's mostly because of the dash and because you go fast and there's lots of fun moves. This is actually the first level in the game that requires you to dash, fun fact. This game has a total of, I think, 11 right now, ma uh, minimum dashes. You can beat it with 11, but it's really not easy. I submitted that run, it, it was like, it's like 50 minutes, just try and do that. It's not really uh, worth your time, really. Right, here you see the first bullets. They will kill you if you touch them, but if you are dashing, they will just disappear instead. Which is very important to know, because a level coming up is going to require that. There you go. Let's see if I can get the fast strat. Nope. Try again. I'll take that. There you go. Yeah, this is missed. Let's see if I can get the... No, okay. I'm not even gonna try that, because that's just ridiculous. This is one of the few levels where you don't grapple that much. And I don't like those levels because grappling is fun. This game is really fun. That's it. Very fast too. Yeah. It's extremely satisfying once you really get the grapples down. Missing them is not so satisfying like right there, but it's still nice. Now here we have... This was a new strat not long ago which made this chapter itself quite a bit faster, and I messed it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. We go to the right side of this block here instead of the left side, which is somehow faster. I'm just taking this real safe now. There you go. Also, if you stand still, you regain dash faster, so I just stood still there. There we go. Now down to the last level of the second chapter. This one has water rising, you gotta be fast. If you're not fast enough, you will not be able to make the ending here. But of course, we're speedrunners, we go fast, it doesn't matter. Now we are into metal, and this is where... I, I don't want to say it again, but I have to, this is where the real Dark Souls begins. I'm sorry. It really is, this is just ridiculously difficult. And it just keeps going. There's not really any easy levels here. This one right here is full of lasers. Lasers kill you, of course. Saw blades, of course they kill you. You gotta be careful. Here there's lasers that will activate behind you. I'm going too fast though, so you won't see that. But you can imagine that all those little laser lines you saw there will activate and you cannot go through them after a few seconds. Now, this one's called Tunnel. Can you guess why? There's tunnels everywhere. You got it. That joke works better with a co-commentator. Alright, here we go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll join in if you want to make some more, more of those. <laughs> I don't think I have more of those, sadly, but sure. If I got any, I'll... Uh, yeah, sure. You saw some uh, yellow lines over there? You can grapple those and go through them. They're actually friendly lasers. It's really nice. Friendly lasers? Yeah, I know, right? Those exist. Yeah, so it's like a meat boy after all. Yeah. I mean, Super Meat Boy is not very friendly in most circumstances, I believe. It's been a while since I've played that game. Here we have the classic uh, uh, following... I'm sure Super Meat Boy has those as well, the following lasers. Yeah, the following lasers, that's... That's a real yeah. classic. Love those. There's gonna be a few more of those. You can probably imagine where the design of that is gonna go. Right, I wish I had the fast trap there, so I could talk about going fast. 
just the beauty of, of a game like this. I don't think it's that well known. So you can probably get away with saying that it's incredibly fast. Yeah, you know, true. Mostly very fast. I don't want to have to lie for the audience, you know. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be disingenuous. Yeah. There are, of course, people uh, playing this game that are also watching. Shoutouts to them. Yeah. Have we got? Have we got any? Uh, any laser grapplers in the in the chat? I mean, they don't want to grapple lasers. I hope. The, the friendly lasers they do. Oh yeah, that's true. Those are also lasers. Soon enough, you'll see some um, not and friendly and not friendly lasers at the same time. Those are interesting. Whoops. No, you can see this level is kind of cycles. And you can I really um, skip those? For the most part. Oh jeez. Come on now. It's gonna there we go. Just don't die to this one, there we go. Now I've got some portals. This is really thinking with portals here, except they kinda work weird. Because it doesn't matter what direction your speed is, it will always shoot you out at that speed in the direction of the exit portal. So if you jump right before a portal, you'll come out faster. It's a little weird, but it works. Go. If you got any time for some some donations or anything, uh, now's the time. Cool. Just want to say yeah. So uh, ESC together, just as a quick heads up, we are running this marathon uh, primarily to uh, raise a bit of extra money for uh, ESAs. Hit pretty, pretty hard financially. Uh, like a lot of uh, organisations, groups, and individuals uh, with uh, what's happened with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So partially we're trying to raise money to help ESA put on future events once all this is uh, over, or indeed more online events while it's still going on, uh, and uh, partially to recoup those losses, but also just to uh, help everyone. Uh, uh, keep everyone company, keep everyone uh, sane, and uh, give our awesome speedrunners and scorers that kind of something to do and bring the community together. Hence the name, really. Um, so, yeah, you can support the stream by donating directly, obviously, but also uh, through subs. So, uh, either subscribing to the channel yourself, uh, gifting subs, or using your Twitch Prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you can do that as well. And HyperX, our sponsor, will match every single donation, uh, every single, um, not donation, <laughs> every every single uh, sub and gift sub and uh, Twitch Prime sub with a $2.50 donation up to the first 800 subs. So I think we're just over halfway there at the moment. So it's a great way to support the stream, uh, support ESA, and also during a, a bit of extra uh, more, more donations basically so yeah, please yeah. sub <laughs> that's all I'll say please sub support ESA it's a really uh, it's a really nice place we're all friends here yeah we are now into the uh, fourth chapter the last chapter of the game this is where the difficulty if the last chapter was where the real Dark Souls begins this is like I don't even know how to explain this it's Difficult. Have you ever done the, the, the Super Meat Boy Dark World? <laughs> well, I would say it's quite a bit harder. It's really? harder than the Meat Boy Dark World. Easily. This game took me about that's 200 a, hours to beat, and most of that was just this chapter. It's extremely difficult. Here's the like not so friendly, friendly lasers, by the way. These are yellow and red lasers combined, I guess. You can grapple uh, them, but you cannot go through them. This entire level was made of them. This is the only level that really uses them. Just a little weird. It's an interesting mechanic. Yeah. I'm surprised that's not used more often then. Oh, there's one level that's a single one of these. That's it, baby strats. I should have just gone for the weave. Oh, well, here's Limbo. Uh, you limbo under the laser, and then you do it again. Oh, also, <laughs> I haven't mentioned yet, there are some checkpoints. You see these uh, white circles? Once you touch them, there are checkpoints. You can always respawn back to those if you die or you mess up. Some levels have them in really nice places, other levels are not so nice and they will put you back to the start after like 20 seconds of going in circles and dying. There's one of those coming up pretty soon. This is also one of those, there's no checkpoints here. Luckily it's only like 10 seconds long. Alright, here we have some more slow moving lasers. This is the classic of those. Gotta wave back and forth. Of course. You've seen this in every game. Whoops. 
And then of course oh, at the Only end. in the quote unquote hard platform games genre. Yeah. I guess that's true, there's a lot of games that don't have them. I haven't seen these in God of War. That would be I weird. know, right? You think that would be a prime candidate for yeah. uh, slow moving lasers. Because obviously back then they didn't have fast moving lasers, so it has to be slow ones. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say spoilers, but I shouldn't, so I'll just uh, leave the joke to myself. Here we go. This is one of the longest levels in the game. This is Metamorphosis. Some people call this the hardest level in the game. I tend to disagree. The hardest level is still coming up, but it's it's close. Grinding this one for IELTS is not easy. It takes hours just to get a good complete run of this level. Uh, Unless you're you a god, like a of lot course. Of little tiny IL shortcuts. Yeah, you can like go in between those blocks there. Three. Yeah. Of course, you gotta make sure to use your dash at the right times. That's something that is actually uh, I haven't really mentioned yet, besides like the fact that there is a dash meter. You gotta really make sure you use your dashes right, because if you're out of dash and you have to use one for your strat, then you're kind of you're kind of screwed. It's gonna say something else, but yeah. mm -hmm. oh, this level uh, has some really small blocks. Slower than optimal. Yeah, pretty much. These blocks are really hard to hit, by the way. Just uh, surprised I've been able to hit most of those at all. That one takes a long time sometimes, because it's difficult. Alright, now we have ascend. We ascend a tower filled with joy, and those joys are saw blades. Lots hey, of them. Hey, saw blades. Saw blades of happiness. Of course, and of course the lasers, as we call them in the community. They're candy, because they look like licorice. But they're not. I'm wondering why Jack was saying, don't touch the candy. Yeah. I'm sure that was like an uh, epic cat or something, so someone saying that. Okay. Whoops, that's a saw blade. Yeah, you can see there's saw blades, and you gotta not touch them. They're everywhere. It's kind of overrunning the game. We have too many saw blades, we have to do something about it. I wouldn't call it a pandemic, but... It's close. You know what, I'll, I'll call it a saw blade convention, because I already made that joke, but I can make it again. Yeah. And anyone who knows what that means gets a cookie. This is, by the way, the hardest level in the game I mentioned. This one has spikes on every block. You cannot land anywhere. You have to be in a grapple pretty much all the time. And then there's just a minefield here. You have to know how to traverse it, and even when you do, it's doing it fast is not easy at all. Uh, we get through that, and now we are into Tower of Joy. Can you see what a joy is in this level? Looks Me like neither. Joyful. I mean, there's lasers everywhere. That's joyful, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm sure the level designer had some uh, weird ideas about what joy means. I say it's not hoping Sorkon. Yeah, that was the joke, but I didn't want to say it like that. Right, here we go. I just got ruins first try, that's amazing. Here we have another one of those levels where you don't grapple much. It's called Hope. It's called Hope just because you kind of lose hope in your run when you get here. Because this is the second to last level. And you mess it up. And this jump right here especially. It's really easy to mess up. There we go. Also, um, I just realized the timer on the bottom left, don't look at it. It is not accurate to real time. Every time you die, <laughs> it adds four seconds. Ah, uh, I see. I was gonna say, because it doesn't look... I mean, it's a bit, behind, it's a bit ahead. Yeah. It also, uh, it doesn't count level loads and such, so... Yeah, this is the last level of the game. We're going pretty fast here. I'm surprised I was able to get this underestimate like this. At least I make that jump. Yeah, there we go. Now we fall down, and it's going to be about time once I hit the time. There you go. That's Remnant of Nazeth. We get the treasure. We collected all the dragon pieces, whatever they are. And yeah. There's emeralds. Yeah, there's emeralds there. That's that's oh. correct. There's rubies, there's diamonds, whatever. Oh, uh, really yeah, know. what a hole. Yeah, it's crazy. Nice. Yeah, uh, shoutouts to uh, the Nazeth community. 
of course, and uh, yeah. Thank you. I've got a quick donation just just took, just come in. Um, Levio has donated twenty dollars and says greetings from the lower ranks. <laughs> of course, hello. Thank you much for the donation, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so uh, where where do people get this? Uh, Steam. I oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you can get this on Steam. I think it's on. Uh, I think it might be on the humble store now. I'm not sure. I, I would have to check with the developer because I haven't really looked at that. I just know it's on Steam. It's like ten bucks. I would recommend this game wholeheartedly. It's really good. If you like speed running, if you like fast platformers, if you like difficult platformers, this is the game for you. It's really good. It looks it looks it very much so. It is also really hard to get used to, but just once you get over that hump, it's so so satisfying. Mm. Yeah, it looks like one of those things where because it looks really tight. It just uh, you know it looks like it's once you kind of get into the actual how the game functions. Yeah. It's uh, it's all kind of really really consistent. Yeah, it's a lot of there's a lot of speedrun tricks that you get to learn over time. I'm still like there's still a lot of things I have to learn. Oh yeah, here's the leaderboards. This game has a built-in leaderboards. As you can see right here, I'm second. Uh, you can scroll nice. all the way to the right, whatever. Yeah. Celeste hasn't got grappling hooks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's why this is superior. Exactly. Just because. Just because, just because the the protagonist is no one's waifu. Yeah. I mean, it could be someone's uh, husband, though. I guess I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Um, brilliant. Thanks very much. Uh, do you want to do any other shout outs? Uh, well, I, I already shout out the community. I I guess I'll shout out Nazid as well, developer of this game. Really cool guy. Yeah. Thanks for making this game and thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks. Uh, thanks for uh, adding this to to a schedule, especially uh, with pretty short notice. Yeah. Um, definitely didn't look like a no practice, so nice work. Thank um, you. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to take a quick intermission, and when we come back, Mr. Shasta will be uh, destroying Irby 64 for us. I think he's doing the 100% run. Yeah, he is. 100% uh, Kirby 64. So charge your poyos, and we will see you guys very soon. <laughs>